everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an animal video for you. It's just going to be a short little video. So I wanted to show you my Australian spiny leaf insect. She is super cool. She's so great. Um, she's getting really old now and I have, don't pick her up that often so she's really confused. I just wanted to talk a little bit about them. Um, so these um, insects come from Australia obviously. Uh, it's in their name. <laughs> and they are a type of leaf or stick insect and they are really cool they live for about a year and they can produce asexually which I think is really cool because I'm asexual <laughs> female can produce eggs without the help of a male and these eggs will hatch they live slightly shorter and they will only ever be females they will live slightly shorter than the ones produced with a male and so I think mine were um, spawn of an only female um, without the help of a male and yeah if you look at them they usually have their bodies flattened out um, but she won't do that now because I oh there we go uh, their bodies will usually be flattened out and then if they feel really scared they will bring their butts up to look like a scorpion and to try and scare you they will also try and look bigger if I tickle her feelers oh no she doesn't want to do that sometimes she will put her front legs up and try and scare me it's very cute <laughs> so they have little spines all over their bodies um, it doesn't hurt it's pretty ticklish and they only ever really get around this big she's pretty much full grown now they haven't molted in a while and they've started laying eggs the last couple of months of their life they will lay some eggs and then they will pass away and I've had two previously um, who have passed away and then I had a leaf insect as well who didn't live very long unfortunately I'm not actually sure what happened to her but that was really sad <laughs> and yeah these are really cool pets to have if you have kids um, I will say that they're really easy to look after they eat eucalyptus and gum leaves which you can find everywhere in this country and if you can't find those then they eat bramble and rose as well we can find gum leaves everywhere so that works for us. Yeah, I think they are really cool pets to have. They're pretty delicate, I would say, like you don't want to drop them or anything. But they're pretty good at holding on for themselves. And I think they're really great pets to have. I think they're so cool. <laughs> uh, I never used to be very into insects, but these insects are really cool. I'm still scared of spiders, so we're getting there. We've got six legged now. And oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you! <laughs> Um, she probably wants to get onto this. Yeah, she does. She wanted to get onto that hand. The female, so this is a female. I only have females. Um, the female will grow small wings that will not enable them to fly. So these are just tiny little wings on her back. Um, the male will grow quite long wings. They still won't be able to fly very well though. They kind of just bump into things and flap around. Never had a male. Not really wanting a male. I don't like flying animals. <laughs> I own a bird. But <laughs> that's different. And yeah, I will show you their cage setup. In okay, I said I'd show you what their cage looks like. So um, let's show you. Uh, this is a snake shed. <laughs> I thought it was cool. Um, they're still in here, so I don't want to bump it too much. But this is what the cage looks like. This I made out of some waterproof wood, which you can get apparently. I don't know that. Uh, I made it out of some waterproof wood and some plastic um, kind of flexi mesh material and then I just staple gunned it all together it was really easy I think this is about 30 centimeters by 50 maybe less than that I don't remember how big the cage is um, but you can make it to your specifications it's got a little ice cream box well a big ice cream box but I cut it <laughs> in the bottom just to catch like poops and stuff and then it's got some branches in there which I enjoy and they're all safe and fine and they actually have long lasted longer this time in the flexarium than they did in a jar kind of situation I had before. So this is a way better enclosure for them. It doesn't keep as much moisture, so it doesn't force them to molt as quickly. So I think this is a better option as opposed to any glass enclosures. And it's cheaper. I think this cost me maybe a hundred rand to make. Uh, yeah, it was pretty easy and. Uh, it didn't take that long either. You, you can buy little pieces of driftwood from any pet store that's close to you. I got mine for free because it was so small. <laughs> uh, you can also take sticks from the outside that they probably won't eat. So it's they 
usually won't eat anything that they don't like. Mine will only eat eucalyptus leaves. So you can pretty much put anything in it. But yeah, here's their cage. Uh, we just screwed in some hinges and some little hooks and yeah, we left it at that. And I think it works really well. You can see one of them. There's another one at the bottom. But yeah, if you're looking to make it, maybe I'll make a tutorial. Maybe I'll make another one. I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, that was it for the video. It was just a short one, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, I think this is Scytha. Chikorita's still in there. Um, they were both bug type Pokemon and I love the idea. She's staring at me. Hello. Hello. I think these insects are amazing. They're such wonderful and easy insects to look after. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I make animal content as well as LGBTQ plus content and some like beauty videos along the way. So let's just call it a lifestyle channel and leave it at that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.